Um, it was about four or five days ago, Bethel team came down and we decided to do a treasure hunt. And what we did was we wrote down, you know, a couple of treasures and we went out and looked for them. So anyway, we had this waterfront in Nizna and I was getting so worried because God told me on the way to the waterfront there will be someone. So while we were walking, I was like, oh my word, Jesus, you know, there, there has to be someone here. And I, I peel off to the side and I see this homeless man sitting there. We go up to him, we ask him to get his name, I think his name was Andrew. And he told us he had a sore hand and he couldn't lift anything because he was trying to earn money. So we prayed for it and boom, just like that it got healed. Yeah, we ended up forming a friendship with him, it was just, it was amazing. But I mean, then we ventured up into the waterfront and the guy that we were with, his name was Donnie, he asked this man sitting at the table, just randomly, sorry, I said, you have a pain in your right knee? He said, no, but my wife does. So we invited his wife to come over and when she got there, she told us she just had a knee transplant. And we were like, yo, you know, that's quite a big thing, but you know, I'll go to bigger. So we prayed for it and boom, just like that. Her first words were, um, does God really work that fast? So she got up and she started walking. She just kept walking and walking and walking where she couldn't, she could barely bend her legs. She started walking. Then one of my friends, Junior, in the church here, we called out prophecies. We asked, you know, who here has, I felt like someone with the teeth. And he put up his hand. So we went over to him and prayed for him. And then we prayed first time, second time, you know, Jesus had to pray twice. Boom, just like that. about God actually spoke to me during worship. Sometimes it looks so hard for God, but the thing that we don't know is, He's actually right next to us. And sometimes we just have to stop listening to all the bad news, that the bad news that people have to say to us. And just open space for God to just continue to love you, to anoint you, and just to fill you up. And just speak, they and them pray for my truth, and actually, it actually reduced. And now I can actually eat with my fire. It used to hurt a lot, and the, the week before that, the thingy, the, um, yeah, the people from the US came and went to go for a treasure hunt. I actually never believed in myself, and he actually told me to pray for this girl, just to talk to that pain, I talked to that pain. When I talked to that pain, Dad actually got healed. I couldn't believe it, that was just God, just God. And this woman, I thought this woman actually thought that I was crazy. She told me to pray for her, I just told that lady. Like, I command you to heal in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. It actually healed. I actually started knowing that Jesus' mighty name, Jesus' name is very powerful. So people, start using that name and you make a very big difference. Like last week we went for a treasure hunt, which is where we got to the streets and we just started doing crazy things with God. And we were there, standing there, and we were walking with this other guy, and he's like, he stopped a random guy, and he's like, do you have pain on your shoulder? And the guy was like, yeah. And he's like, well, let me tell you something, sir. This guy is going to pray, he's just going to lay his hands on you and you're going to be completely healed. And instantly, my brother laid the hands on the guy with shoulder pain and the pain was completely gone. And you should have seen my guy's face. And then, as we were coming back after the crazy day, we got to a point where I just sort of like felt like there was someone with leg pain and I stopped at the corner and there were these three people. It was a lady and two homeless guys and unfortunately they were all drunk. And then I went to the lady, I'm like, do you have leg pain? And then she was like, yeah. And she had the crutch thing by the side there. And then I was like, oh, well, ma'am, can I please just quickly pray for you? And she was like, yeah. And we prayed for her and the pain went. And now I, I was there and I wanted to ask her, can I take the clutch home now? And then I felt, no, I shouldn't ask her for that. But then there were those two guys and then this other guy called Spencer, so got word of knowledge, where just God just tells you something. And they asked the one guy, do you have shoulder pain? And the guy was like, yeah, I've got pain. No, he was like, do you have hip pain? And the guy was like, yeah, I've got hip pain. I've had it for a couple of years now. Then Spencer was like, well, you see your friend there? And the guy was like, yeah. And he's like, well, I want your friend to put his hands on your hip. And those guys had this look on their faces. They were like, whoa, okay. <laughs> and the guy put his hands and then Spencer was like, the moment he takes his hands off, the pain is going to be gone. And the guy just moved his hands there and the pain was gone. And those guys didn't know what was going on. The girl was like, okay, what's going on now? He didn't know how it happened, but that was the power of God. And for a while now, I've always wanted to um, let God speak to me without me praying. In a way, like when you see someone and then you just want to say something, you want to encourage them. And ever since that day, even in school, I just get crazy stuff from God. He just tells me stuff. 
and then I tell people in my class and then I get a chance to actually preach the gospel to them. And today, when I was getting my hair cut, I got a beautiful opportunity to preach the gospel. I just told this man, well, sir, I just see a picture of a lawnmower and he laughed and then I told him that sir, this lawnmower that I saw, I just felt like God was saying that you're going to be cutting away people's problems, God is going to use you to cut away people's problems. And I asked him, well sir, have you ever heard this before? And he said no. And I, felt, I sort of felt like discouraged and then he told me his testimony about how he prayed for a lady who couldn't fall pregnant and after four months she fell pregnant and that was like reaffirmation. So God is awesome. Him's good Come, I need you.